Hello everyone, welcome back from theCUBE's coverage here in Las Vegas with AWS ReMars. It's one of the re-shows, as we know, reInvent is the big show. Now they have focus shows, reinforcers coming up, that's security, ReMars is here. Machine learning, automation, robotics and space. I'm John for your host, Michael, Mike Miller here, director of machine learning thought leadership with AWS. Great to see you again. Yeah. Cube alumni, welcome back. You're back every time we got deep racer <laughs> always to talk about. Hey John, thanks for having me once again. It's great to be here, I appreciate it. So I want to get into the deep racer in context here, but first, ReMars is a show that's getting a lot of buzz, a lot of press. Um, not a lot of news, because it's not a newsy show. It's more of a builder, kind of a convergence show, but a lot is happening here. It's almost a, a moment in time that I think is going to be one of those timeless moments where we're going to look back and saying, that year at ReMars was an inflection point. It just seems like everything's pumping. You get machine learning yeah. scaling, robotics is hot, it's now transforming fast, just like the back office data center did years ago. Yeah. And so like a surge is coming. Yeah, What's these, your take of this show? Yeah, and all of these three or four components are all coming together, right? And they're intersecting rather than just being in silos, right? So we're seeing machine learning enabled perception sort of on robots um, applied to space and sort of these uh, extra sort of application initiatives. Um, and that's what's really exciting about this show is seeing all these things come together and all the industry-wide examples um, of amazing perception and robotics kind of landing so, together. So the people out there that aren't yet inside the ropes of the show, what does it mean to them, this show? What, what, what they're say, what's in it for me? What's all this show, what does it mean? Yeah, it's just a glimpse into where things are headed, right? And it's sort of the tip of the iceberg, it's sort of the beginning of the wave of um, you know, these sort of advanced capabilities that we're going to see imbued in applications um, across all different industries. Awesome, yeah. well great to have you on theCUBE. Every time we have an event, we want to bring you on because Deep Racer has become a, the hottest, I won't say cult following because it's no longer <laughs> cult following, it's become massive following, um, and which started out as an IOT, I think Raspberry Pi, first <laughs> time was like a, like a. We did a little camera initially, camera, yep. And it was mm -hmm. just a kind of a fun, little clever, I won't say hack, but just having a project that just took on a life of its own. Where are we, what's the update Absolutely. with Deep Racer? You're here with the track. Yeah, Obviously, we've got the track. And competing with the big dogs, literally dog. You got Spot over there, Boston <laughs> Dynamics. Well, well, we'll invite them over to the track later. <laughs> yeah, so Deep Razor, you know, is the fastest way to get hands-on with machine learning. You know, we designed it as uh, a way for developers to have fun while learning about this particular machine learning technique called reinforcement learning, which is all about using uh, a simulation uh, to teach the robot how to learn via trial and error. So Deep Racer includes a 3D racing simulator where you can train your model via trial and error. It includes the physical car, so you can take uh, the model that you trained in the cloud, download it to this 1 18th scale um, kind of RC car that's been imbued with an extra sensor, so we have a camera on the front. We've got an extra uh, Intel x86 processor inside here, um, and this thing will drive itself autonomously around the track. And of course, what's a track and uh, some cars driving around it without a little competition? So we've yep. got the Deep Racer League that sort of sits <laughs> on top of this and adds a little spice to the whole thing. It's, it's, it's like Formula One for nerds, it really is, it's <laughs> so good. Because a lot of people will have to readjust their models because they go off the track and I see people and it's, oh my God, then they got to reset. This has turned into quite the phenomenon and, it, and it's fun to watch and every year it gets more competitive. I know you guys have a cut list at reInvent. It's almost like a, a super score gets you up. Yep. Take, take us through the reInvents coming up. Sure. What's going on with the track there and then we'll get into some of the new adoption in terms of the people. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, we have monthly online races where we have a new track every month that challenges our, our developers to retrain their model or sort of tweak the existing model that they've trained to adapt for those new courses. Then at physical events like here at Remars and at our AWS summits around the world, we have physical uh, races. Um, and we crown a champion at each one of those races. You may have heard some cheering a minute ago. Yep. That was our finals over there. We've got some really fast cars, fast models racing today. Um, so we take the winners from each of those two circuits, the virtual and the physical, and they, the top ones of them come together at reInvent every year in November, December. Um, and we have a set of knockout rounds, championship rounds, where these guys get, the field gets narrowed to 10 racers, and yeah. then those 10 racers uh, race to hold up the championship cup and um, earn, earn, uh, 
you know, a whole set of prizes, either cash or, or you know, scholarships or t you know, tuition funds, whatever the, uh, the developer is most interested in. You know, I ask you this question every time you come on theCUBE because I, I'm smiling because it's, it's so much fun. I mean, if I had not been to the Cuban I'd love to do this. Um, would you ever imagine when you first started this that it would be such so popular, and at the rise of esports, you know, Discord is yeah. booming. The Cube even has a Discord channel now. Sure, um, sure. We're not that good on it yet, but we'll get there. But just the gaming culture, the nerd culture, the robotics clubs, the young people, just nerds yeah. who want to compete. We've have you ever thought that would be this big? We, we were so surprised by a couple key things after we launched Deep Racer. You know, we envisioned this as a way for, you know, developers who had already graduated from school, they were in a company, they wanted to grow their machine learning skills. Individuals could adopt this. What we saw was individuals were taking these devices and these concepts back to their companies and they're saying, this is really fun, like we should do something around this. And we saw companies like JPMC and Accenture and Morningstar and Intuit and National Australia Bank all adopting Deep Racer as a way to engage, excite their employees, but then also create some fun collaboration opportunities. Um, the second thing that was surprising was the interest from students. And it was actually really difficult for students to use Deep Racer because you needed an AWS account, you had to have a credit card, you might, you might get billed, there was a free tier involved. Um, so what we did this past year was we launched the Deep Racer Student League, um, which caters to students 16 or over in high school or in college. Uh, Deep Racer Student includes 10 hours a month of free training um, so that they can train their models in the cloud and of course the same series of virtual monthly events for them to race against each other and win, win prizes. So they don't have to go onto the dark web, hack someone's credit card, get a Proton email account just to get a deep racer. They, that's right. they can now come in on their own. That's right, that's right. <laughs> they can log into that virtual, uh, the virtual uh, environment um, and get access. And, and one of the other things that we realized, um, and, and uh, that's a common kind of uh, realization across the industry, is both the need for the democratization of machine yeah. learning, but also how can we address the skills gap for yeah. future ML learners? Um, and this applies to the, the, the world of students kind of engaging. And we said, hey, you know, um, the world's going to see the most successful and innovative ideas come from the widest possible range of participants. And so we knew that there were some issues with mm -hmm. um, you know, underserved and underrepresented minorities accessing this technology and getting the ML education to be successful. So we partnered with Intel and Udacity and launched the AI and ML scholarship program this past year, and it's also built on top of Deep Racer Student. So now students um, can register and opt in to the scholarship program and we're going to give out uh, Udacity scholarships to 2,000 students um, at the end of this year who compete in AWS Deep Racer student racers and also go through all of the learning modules online. Okay, hold on, let me back up because it sounds, yeah. sounds pretty cool. All right, so we kind of went fast on that. I'm a little bit slow today at the end all of right. the day. So if they sign up for the student account, which you lowered the batteries for, and the Intel and Audacity, so this is a courseware for the machine learning. That's right. So in order to participate, you got to take some courseware, check the boxes, and, and, and Intel is paying for this, or you get rewarded with a scholarship after the fact. So Intel's a partner of ours in, in putting this on. So it's both um, helping kind of fund the scholarships for students, but also participating. So for the students who um, get qualified for the scholarship and, and win one of those 2,000 Udacity Nano Degree scholarships, uh, they also will get mentoring opportunities. So AWS and Intel um, professionals will help mentor these students, uh, give them career advice, give them technical advice, yeah, so et cetera, get, and help getting, grow they're them. They're getting smarter. Absolutely. So, when this, so I'm just going to get to the, the data here. So this, is it money or credits for the, for the training? That's um, the scholarship, or both. So, so the, the student training is free for students. Yep. They get 10 hours a month, no credits they need to redeem or anything. It's just you log yep. in and you get your account. Um, then the 2,000 uh, Udacity scholarships, those are just scholarships that are awarded to, to the winners of the student um, scholarship program. It's a four month long uh, class on Python programming for okay, AI. So it's real education. Yeah, it's okay. like real, so real So ones, ones, here's 10 hours, here's check the box, here's, here's the manual. Yep, Have everybody gets access to that. That's free yeah. yep. to the student. Over 16, yes. free. So that's probably going to increase the numbers. What kind of numbers are you looking at now yeah. in terms of scope to scale here for me? Yeah, out. What's we've, the we've been uh, pleasantly surprised. We've got over 55,000 students 
from over 180 countries around the world that have signed up for the Deep Racer student program. And of those, over 30,000 have opted in to that scholarship program. So we're seeing huge interest um, from across the globe in, in this virtual student um, opportunity. You know, and students are taking advantage of those 20 hours of learning, yeah. they're taking advantage of the fun deep racer, kind of yeah. hands-on racing, um, and obviously a large number of them are also interested in this scholarship opportunity. All right, how many people are in the AWS deep racer um, group now? Because now someone's got to work on this stuff. It's, went from a side hustle to like a full initiative. Well, you know, we're yeah. pretty efficient with what we, you know, <laughs> we're pretty efficient. You've probably read about the two pizza teams yeah. at Amazon, yeah. so we keep ourselves pretty streamlined, but we're really proud of um, what yeah. we've been able to bring to the table. And you know, over those pandemic years, we really focused on that virtual yeah. experience, imbuing it with those gaming, kind of gamification sort of elements, you know? One of the things we did for the students is, just like you guys, we have a Discord channel, so not only can the students get hands-on, but they also have this built-in community of other students now to help support them, bounce ideas off of, and you know, improve their learning. Awesome, so what's next? Take us th through after this event, what's going on for you? More competitions? Yeah, so we're going to be at the remainder of the AWS summits around the world, so places like Mexico City, you know, uh, this week we were in Milan, um, you know, we've got some AWS public sector um, activities that are happening. Some of those are focused on students, so we've had student events in um, Ottawa, in Canada, we've had a student event in Japan, we've had a student event in um, Australia, New Zealand, and so we've got events both for students as well as for the professionals who want to compete in the league happening around the world, and again, culminating at reInvent, so we'll be back here in Vegas um, at the beginning of December where our champions will uh, compete to so hoist the cup. you guys are going to all the summits. Absolutely. Are most of the summits or all of them? Anytime there's a physical summit, we'll be there with the track and cars and yeah. give uh, developers the opportunity to the get hands on. The track is always open. Absolutely. All right, well thanks for coming on theCUBE with the update, appreciate it Mike. Thanks John, it was all great right. to be here. Pleasure to know you. Appreciate great. it. Love the program. All right, CUBE coverage here. Deep Race always the hit. It's a fixture at all the events. More exciting than theCUBE, some say, but uh, almost. Great to have you <laughs> on, Mike. Uh, great success. Check it out, free to students. The barrier's been lowered to get in. Every robotics club, every math club, every science club should be signing up for this. Uh, it's a lot of fun and it's cool. And of course, you learn machine learning. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to learn that? All right, CUBE coverage coming back after this short break. <laughs>